I'm gonna need a clear head for this, lads. No distractions, please. Good luck. Anyone between me and that stone dies. Stop. I don't want anything bad to happen, but it will if you come any closer. Well, that was an easy boss fight. Oh, we get to use this in action! A shield, eh? Not much good against magic! Oh, I actually killed you? I'm so sorry. I, I simply assumed you would fall over. Oops. Oh, I'm dead? Oh. Well, I forgot to say, I was too caught up in the action. Welcome to Tomb Raider Legion! Uh, we must be near the end. Yeah, if you could stop doing that. I know I got a magic sword, but... At the very least, get rid of a couple of these things. Yeah, if you've got a grenade launcher, I don't want that. The shield! It does nothing! Alright, cleared out some, some room. Gonna make sure to heal, and especially if you've got clowns with grenade launchers. Who Lara doesn't want to target. Grenade somewhere. Damn it. Stop running. Okay, that did nothing. I might as well just slash you with the damn thing. Another health. Yeah, if you could stop what you were planning on doing. You guys just laid there the whole time. I'm truly sorry, but the sword is fucking amazing. What are you doing? Stay away from there. It's what I came for. You don't need that. We can both do this. It only works once, and I'm going to be the one. I have four grenades. You have tattoos. We'll see who wins. Oh. Well, we're finding become the demon with a health bar. Okay, my concern is the delay and the lack of fucking aiming. I mean, I hit it. I'm probably gonna die, but. Shiflara doesn't understand the concept of dodging. Add it again. I guess the key is to be not. Ooh, shit. The key is also to be on the fucking platform of it. Okay. Okay, that's annoying. I might try breaking these. Did they say Netla Industry? It's funny. A nice nod to um, the original. Alright, good thing I saw these two health packs here. Too bad I'm gonna be dead before I can um, take advantage of them. Okay, a few times or. No. Ah. No, wait. Okay. I. I guess you have to be close to do that. Oh wait, it's got more health again? Why? And don't... Don't stun lock me into death. That's fucking annoying. A real lack of uh, health here. I would like to experiment with that. Does nothing? Okay. At least it was nice enough to... I'm officially dead. Especially if Lara just does not fucking move. God, she... 
I need to remember actually to do that, to do rolls. Okay. Cool, like, I can hit you, but you can't move! Alright. This is gonna be one annoying boss fight. Lara has a terrible tendency to not fucking get out of the way. Like so. Once again. For fuck's sake, Lara, could you just move your stupid ass? Thank you, you dodged an attack. You could also... Never mind, we won't bother hitting the fucker. For a moment I thought you were actually going to get out of the way then. No! Alright, now is it falling down? Yes. Now. But it gets its health back, which is just called bullshit on. Not all of it, but why give it a fucking health bar and make it go down to, you know, 50% if you then just turn around and fill it back up? Alright, heal. Oh, you're out of health already? How are you out of health? That, but wow, that's just so terrible. The game gives you no fucking health packs throughout this boss fight. What am I mean to do? I mean, hit the guy and... <laughs> Alright, well that worked. I got two health packs. I thought I had four to be but I guess I turn at the beginning of the checkpoint. Jump, no, never mind. Swing, add it, no, jump, no. There's a lot of don't fucking worries here, isn't there, Lara? That's annoying too. Thank you for fucking finding something to hit the damn thing! Alright, well maybe this is the key. To spam the fucking shit out of this. Now I really want to try and hit it before it fully heals. Well that worked out well. I was going to say, the key seems to be just getting it somewhere and spamming that attack at the actual enemy though. At the actual enemy. Now why in God's name do I actually want to do this? Doing this, I don't know if I... Okay. If Lara could stop falling over for a second, just so we could spam that attack again. You're eventually going to get knocked off. Ah, this weapon is actually fucking a real pain in the ass. Alright, one heal. I really have to leave healing to the last second. But one thing you seem to have to get on a real good angle away from it. It's too close. She won't actually target the fucking thing and hit it. See? Just underneath her. The second thing is trying to 
Hesha as well as fucking... Yeah, spam that. You did. Yeah, see if you can hit it before it attacks. You can stun lock it sometimes. Not perfectly. Especially considering Lara and Dodging don't seem to get along with this. Okay, what the fuck? Just stay on your fucking feet. Thank you, but why are you taking so many goddamn attempts to fucking do that? I really hate this lack of fucking movement. No, we have to move. We have to move, Lara. Just get to the other side of this island as far away as possible. Now, hit it. Hit it! Thank you! No, it's too close and it's hit you. You're gonna end up falling off. I'm getting a little frustrated with you, Lara. Yep. Perfect spot to hit it. So do it. Thank you. Okay. Heal again. Oh, fucking good it does. So now you spend an hour trying to get back into a position. You hit it. Thank you. Oh, but then you still got hit. Alright. I really, really need health packs. I don't understand why they do not let you pick up. I mean, I managed to, to grab an extra two on my first attempt because there were those guys who dropped them. There, please let this be the end of it. No, it's still got health. So gonna die. You're so gonna die. I can't see and I'm stuck. Don't target it or anything, just die. J Jesus, Lara. Oh. Oops. Well, this time I'll try holding down the actual target button. That makes a big difference. Okay, it's down and goes. Stab! Taste my blade! I used it for spreading on my toast some butter. It's a little tricky though sometimes because of those colours. You don't actually know whether or not he's done a projectile attack like that or whether or not it's just lighting around them. please don't just spam attacks like that stun locking is a fucking douche thing to do also knocking me what was that Lock on so we can get started. What even hit you? There was nothing even attack like it didn't even fucking attack. Oh, I didn't see any lights. Yep, that's gonna hurt. Quickly. Alright, one. Don't know how many times. Once again, what in the fuck? Why did you lose so much health? It hadn't even fucking attacked. 
I honestly don't think it even done an attack. Why are these attacks doing like... Wow. That makes like no sense unless this thing has um... Like that. If it, unless the sword can actually hurt Lara as well. That makes no sense that that is happening. Why am I getting hurt? It's not doing an attack. Are you locked on? Yes. See, here comes an attack of some sort. Okay, that one got me. Move out of the way. That! See exactly what happened! I'm actually going to go back, restart this level, just so I can have four health packs to begin with. Right, well here we are. I'm going to heal because your health pack's on the ground as well. But, at least I should have three. Unfortunately I thought I could pick up four. But, yeah. Lara, you have to move or else we're going to be picking up none. Lara, this is not you helping me. For God's sake, Lara, would you just move your fucking stupid, retarded face? That's not helping me in any way. But I love... Oh God, Lara, would you just... Thank you! That just took a million health packs! It's just defeating the whole fucking point! God, I'd love it if this thing just didn't fucking overdo it. Just... Whoa, calm down. Yeah, and see that? What hit me? God, it's like every, like, there's a 5% chance of it, um... There's a 5% chance of the sword just backfiring on you or something and, like, killing you. Maybe standing closer can actually help. No, 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 no. We want to keep well away from the edges. This thing has a tendency to fucking send you. F Thank you. Oh my god. That was a horrible boss. I actually don't know if. I, how many outbacks I end up using in the end there. I mean, at the first chunk, Lara was just going into full stupidity mode. So I just spammed them hard out, but after that it actually worked well. And I'm going to watch the footage because you're, I am certain there were several occasions where there was no attack whatsoever, but Lara just went flying off and took a huge chunk of damage. And I can't understand why. Uh, very disappointing boss fight there, did not enjoy that at all. But it's a book. No. Oh. Yeah, throw Amanda's corpse in the fucking water because that was a cunt. I thought you were gonna leave the sword in there, or are you gonna push it? Yes. Good girl. And we open the Stargate again. No, it's Kurt Russell. Listen to me. It'll explode unless you pull out the sword. 
Why don't you just shoot her and shut her up? Oh, that was rather vicious. You floating? Idiot! You ruined everything! All these years I blamed myself, and it was you! You killed her! Killed her? She's not dead! She went where I was supposed to go, where you could have gone! Make sense right this second, or I swear I'll execute you where you stand! I told you to pull out the sword! I told you! Where is my mother? Avalon! It's not a myth! Don't you get it? You'll never understand. I'm wasting my breath. <laughs> from this moment, your every breath is a gift from me. Laura? For years, my father believed Mother was alive. It was what kept him going. I pitied him for thinking that way. Alistair, go to the British Museum immediately. Ring me when you get there. Dress in layers. You'll be there a while. Right. I'm off. Zip, call Professor Eddington. I guess he's still more the guard. Arrange a meeting. Will do. What should I tell him? Tell him... Tell him my father was right about everything. And there may still be time to do something about it. I was actually hoping she would zipline across. And then I could be like, Er, but she ziplined there. Now would she zipline back? With the angle. Oh! Okay. Ah, so I guess they're... I, I mean, I, I don't remember... What's the next one? Tomb Raider... Um, Underworld? I don't remember it too well, so I guess that one carries on the plot. I certainly hope so. Because that definitely left, um... You know... Some doors... Open. But anyway, Tomb Raider Legend! Um, a very disappointing boss battle at the end, which sours a lot of it for me, unfortunately, but otherwise a thoroughly enjoyable game. Um, the physics of it were amazing, Lara moving around so agilely, so quickly and fluidly, was just really nice compared to like basically every other Tomb Raider game. I mean the original, sure, they're, they can't be blamed, they're so dated and you know, so basic, but yeah, compared to Angel of Darkness, that was just like a real nice pleasure to jump and climb and swing and do that all. You were never groaning for... even the, the infamous uh, swing ropes were not a problem this time. Uh, Zip and Alistair, it was nice having them on, they weren't annoying. Um, they, you know, were just normal people, but it gave each level character in the sense that normally it's just like an hour of Lara walking around silent so having her exchanging dialogue with people throughout the game was quite nice um, that little hook line zip line thing was a nice addition I, I like that uh, great for puzzles and moving around and such um, I thought that was good the binoculars they were an all right idea but uh, it seemed like they had to kind of shoehorn them in a couple times to remind you they, they actually had them um, the puzzles were, were awesome too. I liked these gigantic rooms with puzzles where you had to move around the room doing different things to unlock the key objective. A couple times I got on the wrong path while I was meant to do, but still nice, nice puzzles. Um, the plot itself, yeah, I liked it. It was alright. Um, for a reboot, it was an, a novel idea. Um, the globe trotting. they almost felt like they were trying to make up for the last game having very little globe trotting, and Tomb Raider 4 being set in one location. I mean, this said every level was in a different place. Just, yeah, constantly globe trotting. And as for the pickups and that, it would have been nice, especially at the end there, if I had more than fucking three health packs. I really don't understand why they didn't make more become available throughout the fight. It just seemed, yeah, punishing. 
Um, in fact, you can only pick up three. I mean, when you die and the checkpoint resets, you get full health, so it's not a big deal. But I would like to have hoarded a bit more. You know, even up to five would have been nice. And as for only having one alternative gun, that was an interesting idea. Part of me doesn't like it, but I mean, I hoard weapons all the time. So being forced to actually pick just one weapon was quite good with limited amount of ammo you can take. And then it makes you get to a point where you're like, well, should I swap this gun for this one? I mean, I have less ammo, so is it worth it or not? The shotgun, I didn't go near because I just felt not the wrong, uh, not not right for the situation I'm in. The one time I take the grenade launcher was a terrible idea. So yeah, it's double-edged in a way. But either way, yep, Tomb Raider Legend. Um, I think up next chronologically would be Tomb Raider Anniversary. So I guess this plot will take a little break, we'll see, I could be wrong, I mean, I'm not entirely sure. But, after that, who knows, I, there are a couple Tomb Raider games on Game Boy that I've never played, so I might give them a go, see what they're like. But yeah, otherwise, that's it, please be sure to check out my other Tomb Raider run-throughs, I've got a no healing challenge run for the original Tomb Raider. And yeah, plenty of other games out there. If you like this, give it a thumbs up. That will make me happy. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. All that, all that jab, all, all that jazz, all that jab, all that jazz. But nice, nice journey. A relatively short game, comparatively short to some of the other Tomb Raider games. But I get the feeling. If they kept going, because I'd kind of prepared this for this being the final fight in that. So if they'd been like, all right, now we're off somewhere to find Mum, be like, well, do one or two levels and stop. Otherwise, this is just gonna overstay its welcome. So yes, Tomb Raider Legion done and dusted. I would have liked to have been able to have played it without it telling me I'd already collected everything, just to see how well I would have done there. But anyway. Thank you very much for watching and take it easy.